we have this slogan that says Pedro will take naked the leads, others follow if they can. Hello viewers, welcome to another beautiful episode of our program, Poly Naked Diary. I am your host, Chi Awalamoki. In this episode, we will be focusing on the linkages and the synergies attracted to this institution by our indefatigable rector, engineer Dr. Michael Chidebere Arimangwa, within four years of his administration. You may recall that in his inaugural speech, as the first alumnus and the eighth substantive rector of this most sought after polytechnic in the country. Engineer Dr. Michael Chidebere Arimangwa stated as part of his administrative agenda and targets that he will collaborate with both local and international organizations, including good spirited individuals, to strengthen the academic excellence of this institution through improvement of human and capital resources. Don't go nowhere. Follow me as I unveil all to you. To set the ball rolling, our pragmatic rector engaged Dr. Uche Nwankwo of Focus Biscon, Manitoba, Canada. This engagement led to the donation of education resource materials such as computers, books. These were presented to the institution by Dr. Obi Merekwe. The Fishery Society of Nigeria donated journals and books of proceedings to the institutions. In equipping our library for more efficient research works, the Sir Emeka Four Foundation donated books to the institution as part of their support for academic growth. The Tertiary Education Trust Fund, TET Fund, has been living up to this obligation of provision of education resource materials to the institution. As the Rector, Engineer Dr. Michael Chidiberi Aramawa has continued to source all available funds for infrastructural development, staff training, institutional-based researches, laboratory equipment, and books. The Rector's unrelenting determination to expand his horizons in attraction of developmental synergies led to the signing of mutual cooperation agreement with the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria, ICANN, on the 23rd day of September 2020. This one-stop act has given our students competitive edge and double experience over their counterparts in other institutions. We are not just uh, interested in graduating people. We are not just interested in handing certificates over to them. We are interested in what happens to them after graduation in the place of work. And that is why we decided to have a linkage, a relationship with ICANN. Any student in any institution that doesn't have this relationship that we have, um, who graduates from accountancy, we need to face 15 exams to become chartered accountants. But with the relationship we have with ICANN, our students, those who graduate from here, will only face five exams. Uh, so we have already 10 courses waived for graduates of this institution. And so we want our students to get to become chartered accountants faster, which is better for them. Also for the Chartered Institute of Banking of Nigeria, we want our students to get the qualifications as they are graduating. It is easier for them because of the relationship we now have with those uh, organizations to become chartered in their respective fields. In line with his synergetic targets of engaging relevant organizations, agencies, and good-spirited individuals for mutual cooperation and benefits, our resolutely courageous rector, having a good knowledge of the importance of safety in workplace and the certification of our students as trained safety personnel, signed a Memorandum of Understanding, MOU, with the Occupational Safety and Health Association, UK. This ushered in the certification of health, safety, and environment training in the institution as the training center for the Southeast Nigeria. By this development, the Federal Polytechnic Nekede Oweri Center coordinates other tertiary institutions 
companies and establishments who may deem it necessary to send their students or staff for training on safety and health related matters. In response, Director Engineer Dr. Michael Chidebere Arimawa donated two halls for the smooth execution of this purpose. The students actually are sending in a lot of um, positive feedbacks about um, the way they are going to benefit from the programs that is uh, coming up. Um, the rector also talked on behalf of the staff that we benefit from the training too. One thing again is that it is not just meant for only staff and uh, students. It is also something that uh, the whole public can benefit from. We want to make sure that our people around understand what it means to be uh, health, safety, and um, environmental clinical compliant. And so we try as much as possible in the trainings to explain to them what they should do. And even the certification also can even afford people opportunities to get jobs. These are the things that is happening uh, with, between us now and the United Kingdom uh, uh, Occupation of Safety. The health and safety organization in the UK, uh, anybody can participate, even though the uh, engineering students have an advantage because most of uh, occupational hazards have to do with engineering uh, items. But anybody can participate, anybody can be trained. Uh, people in business, people in environmental, people in the sciences, all of them can be trained. If, if they indicate interest, then they can go through the training. Because in certain organizations, no matter what your background is, you are expected to know about uh, health and safety procedures and protocols for that organization. In extending the tentacles of the ongoing academic programs and innovations in the Federal Polytechnic Nekede Uwere through linkages, the rector through the Directorate of Interventions and Linkages engaged an academic exchange program with two renowned universities in Ukraine before the outbreak of the war between Ukraine and Russia. The universities are VN Karazin Kaviv, National University of Science and Technology, Lviv University of Law and Business. This collaboration yielded signing of a memorandum of understanding with these foreign institutions for exchange of skill acquisition, technology transfer, joint research conference and workshop, affiliate programs where students can partly study in Federal Polytechnic Nekede and finish up at the university in Ukraine. Also included was exchange of culture for promotion of tourism. Part of the thing we signed with them is also on cultural uh, exchange. The Ukrainians would want us to showcase what we have as culture to them, teach them our culture, much as we are going to get uh, also them to teach us what they have as cultural uh, uh, heritage. Apart from all other technological exchanges and all other educational benefits that we're going to get from the collaboration. In actualizing intellectual and developmental strides through synergetic approaches, our rector signed a mind-boggling memorandum of understanding with the foremost indigenous automobile manufacturing company in Africa, Innocent Vehicle Manufacturing Company, in April 2022. This unequaled collaboration is designed to bet a new engineering workshop where staff and students of mechanical, electrical, electronic and mechatronic engineering will learn manufacturing and production of vehicle spare parts. The synergy also created opportunities for provision of raw materials by innocent vehicle manufacturers, IVM, for full-blown production of electrical vehicles in the institution and a platform for interested members of staff to acquire IVM slick vehicles at subsidized rates. A good step in the right direction. The director has done a lot in the area of uh, bringing in collaborations and linkages with institutions and organizations to improve in the training of uh, manpower and uh, equipping our students with the 
technical knowledge that is required from the students of a polytechnic. For example, we have established linkages with Inosim Motors, Lofty Farms from Togo, Lome, international collaborations with uh, some foreign universities in Ukraine. Following his unflagging and unflinching manner, the rector extended the linkage to aquaculture, having noted that it is a sure out to self-sustenance for our students, generation of revenue for the institution, and provision of food for the society. Our smart rector engaged Lofty Farms Lume Togo, which is the largest tilapia fish farm in West Africa. This resulted to the signing of Memorandum of Understanding with Lofty Farms Lume Togo to the scope of technical training on tilapia aquaculture, fish feed production, insect meal propagation, securing of tuition-free training for 10 students and five staffers of the Federal Polytechnic Nekede annually for five years. Our visit to Lume in Togo is to fulfill our international linkage in the area of agricultural development, specifically in the area of uh, animal agriculture. Um, it, uh, we had a memorandum of understanding with Lofty Farm Limited Lume, uh, the biggest tilapia farm in West Africa. I met with them because uh, I am the coordinator for ECOWAS on fisheries. So one of our tours, we went there and I discussed my institution. Uh, our CEO, that is my rector, Dr. Engineer Michael Anmawa, he visited the place by himself with some principals, including myself. And thereafter, we sought for exchange so that our student would be far ahead being a Peseta protecting in Nigeria. To actualize this, the first set of five staff and five students was returned from the training in Lome, Togo, in the third week of March 2022. The institution signed an MOU with Lofty Farms, Togo which is the biggest tilapia farm in West Africa and is intended to create opportunity for staff and students to go on exchange program, learn modern ways of fish farming. The MOU is intended to provide a mutually beneficial relationship for both the farm and for our institution. We are among the students sent to Togo Lome by the school um, rector, engineer doctor, MC Arimanwa on BSF production, tilapia breeding, feed formulation, and so many other things. I want to use this opportunity to thank the rector, engineer Dr. Arimanwa, for the opportunity for finding us worthy to send us on such training. I want to thank the rector of this great institution of Federal Polytechnic Nekede, engineer MC Arimanwa, for the opportunity given unto me to be able to travel outside Togo Lome, Lofty Farm, to gain the experience on cage culture and fingerling production and a mago production. However, I remain grateful to him. Hami Walala Mohamed Kabir Ajibola, a lecturer at the Department of Agricultural Technology, Federal Polytechnic in Ekade, one of the trainees sent to Lofty Farm. We were trained specifically on three major aspects, which is a tilapia cage culture system. This is a fairly new system of uh, raising fish in which uh, you raise these fish in a natural environment to simulate the production in the natural climate. I'm very grateful to Director Engineer Dr. Arimawa for the privilege given to be part of the training that went for the training. It's really a high opener for me. It really exposes my horizon on the field of animal science. I want to appreciate the Director for the privilege he has given unto us to go for this training. Uh, once again, I have said this as an eye-opener and I want to thank him so much because it's a rare opportunity that I'm privileged to be a particular of it. Thank you, uh, Digital Director. To maximize and leverage on this development, our rector embarked on propagating the first ever quality tilapia fingerlings farming in the whole of South, East, South, South and Middle Belt of Nigeria. I'm Dr. Victor in the BC, Mwachuku, head of department, Department of Fisheries, Federal Polytechnic Nakedowere. We went to Lofty Farms in Togo 
Before we started going, we had our backgrounds. Uh, we know a number of things. However, uh, due to that collaboration, it led to the uh, reconstruction of our and expansion of our fish farm to come to international standards so that what we'll be doing here, we meet uh, standards re as required in agriculture and the aquaculture in, in particular. So we started constru massive construction, building new ponds, building our hatchery, building cold rooms and the smoking rooms and sales point, making it to be very international standard. So when we prepared, then we now make, went for that trip to now learn more. So that's part of the things we learn, which we practice here, we get it there and then come and uh, practice it here. And to this effect, a state-of-the-art facility in the institution for tilapia and catfish production with a cycle capacity of approximately 30 tons is near completion. This is designed to actualize 60 tons yearly. Here we are is the fish farm estate of the institution where we have the state-of-the-art facility. Just like I told you the other time that this is the only institution in Nigeria today where you can find this type of facility. And as we move on, you will see for yourself what we have in place for you. You are welcome. The fish farm facility has the following outlet, the modern hatchery, cyclone pond, the fish processing center, input reception, clock room, wet processing room, dry processing room, cooling and packaging room, finished product rooms, sales outlet, and public conveniences. My administration has done a lot in terms of uh, interventions and linkages. Today, we have relationship with Innocent Motors. We have relationship with Lofty Farms Limited in Togo. We have relationship with OSHA. We have relationship with ICANN, with CIBN, with IITA, with IFAD, with Focus, an organization in Canada. We also have relationship with the National University of Science and Technology in Ukraine. Um, we have relationship with the Mecca of All Foundation, with Fisheries Society of Nigeria, and a, a whole lot of others. In a bid to erase quackery on the dispensary opticianary profession, the Optometrist and Dispensing Opticians Registration Board of Nigeria, through her registrar, Professor Mrs. Ebere Uzodike, collaborated with the rector to formally train the people practicing without license using the Department of Dispensary Opticiary of the Federal Polytechnic Nekede Owere. This adds to the building up of provision of opportunities and building of human capital development for self-reliance and interest of the society by the rector. My name is Dr. Mrs. Amuneke Chidima. I am the head of the department, Dispensing Opticianry, Federal Polytechnic Nekedi. As you can see, this is one of the laboratories where this training took place. We are grateful to the rector, Federal Polytechnic Nekedi, for this wonderful opportunity given to the professional body and the general public. The Smart Campus Initiative of the rector attracted a synergy between the school and the Nigerian Communication Commission, NCC through provision of EPAD project. This attracted delivery of 100 Xenox EPAD to the institution on the 12th of August, 2020. Also, the rector's ongoing vision of digitalizing all the managerial and administrative processes of the institution engaged the Xenox group. This resulted to the subsidizing of the prices of HP laptop for staff of the institution. All interested members of staff got the laptops delivered without hitches. I appreciate the chief executive, director of this institution, engineer MC Arimawa, fellow Nigerian Society of Engineers, for his vision. I think I admire him from afar, and he decided to bring me closer. And these uh, linkages is uh, part of his vision, which I believe he has prepared before vying for this position and now he's executing them and God being on his side 
in succeeding and the major aim of these linkages or having these contacts is to make the polytechnic visible outside here in Nigeria, in Africa and even in the world. Most of the projects you are seeing around, they are not just for him but for the polytechnic community, for the graduates or the graduates or the students or even for the staff. For instance, the books donated by Chief Mecca of Four and Uchi uh, Wanko. They are not only for him, but to enrich our library and even for the community and even for those who are intending to be students of this institution. The CIBN, the house, the hall is there. The students, the banking and finance students especially, and even School of Business as a whole, will have a lot to learn from there. They are contact with CIBN. Most of the final years, I think there are only one stage of exam for them to qualify as chartered bankers. The same is applicable to ICANN in accountancy department. They have a program where some courses will be waived for our HND2 students. And they will write only the final stage of the ICANN exam. This is a big leap. Unlike some institutions where the graduates start from foundation. History was made on the 16th of November 2021 as the groundbreaking ceremony of the legacy project tagged the Bankers Hall, which was bequeathed to the Federal Polytechnic Nekede Owere by the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria, CIBN, led by Dr. Bayo Ulugbemi, was performed in the school. It will be recalled that on September 16, 2015, a memorandum of understanding involving academic linkage under the administration of Professor C.U. Njoku, the immediate past director, and the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria, CIBN, was activated. The linkage is designed to deepen banking and finance education as its professional elements were embedded into teaching and learning process of the course in the Federal Polytechnic Nekede Owere. By this, our graduates of banking and finance become well equipped and professionalized as fresh graduates as 19 courses of professional studies were reduced to only five upon graduation. To crown it all, on the 5th of May 2022, the Imo State Governor, Distinguished Senator Hope Uzodima, ably represented by the Deputy Governor, Professor Placid Njoku, the Governing Council, led by Acting Chairman, Squadron Leader Chima I Chima, the management of Federal Polytechnic Nekede, led by our indefatigable Rector, Engineer Dr. Michael Chidebera Remawa, our benefactor, Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria, led by Dr. Bayo Ulugwemi, the traditional ruler of the host community, Eze Godwin Merenini, Dibia One of Umodibia Autonomous Community, other invited guests, and the entire polytechnic community witnessed the opening ceremony of the iconic Bankers Hall constructed within six months in the institution. Federal Polytechnic Nekede. This is indeed an indelible mark and commitment to the development of banking and finance education and profession in Nigeria. Wow, welcome back. As you have seen it all, our rector, engineer Dr. Michael Chidebere Arimangwa, is a man who keeps to his words, promises, and agenda. Today, our institution, the Federal Polytechnic Nekede Owere, continues to lead while others follow, only if they can. I'll be drawing the curtain here. See you in our subsequent episodes. I remain your favorite host, Chi Awalamoke. Bye.